I think it's time we talk about the new trend in the commercial world. We've all seen these shots in pretty much every commercial out there right now. And in this video, we're going to talk about why everyone loves them so much. And we're also going to break down one of our commercials where we had similar shots and took the same approach to the entire video. And you're basically gonna see how we implemented and how we executed um, these shots in our commercial and why we chose to do that. And just a quick reminder that we have a cool giveaway waiting for you at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around. When we came up with the concept for this ad, we knew we wanted something that would really engage the audience into the scenes and really make them feel what our character is actually doing and feeling when using Artlist. Something that would blur the lines between visuals and feelings and make them feel as one. And that's exactly what you get from all of these shots we've seen so far. They really engage you into the action, they bring you right in, you can almost feel like you're there and they really bring you into the subjective experience of the user. With these kind of shots, whether it's a physical product or a UI based one, you can almost feel the texture and everything just comes to life in a really beautiful and engaging way. In this opening shot, we're introduced to the scene through this wide angle dolly in movement. Let's pause this for a second and try to see all of the different elements we have here. So first off, we can see our character sitting in her editing station in what is probably her home. She has the headphones on and you can see the artist platform on the PC monitors. As for the setting, we can see some buildings outside a window and the neon sign and we're getting some Tokyo vibes. So right away, we're introduced into the scene with a fast moving camera movement that is basically showing us everything we need to know for the rest of the story. Of course, this is not a real location, but a set. And also the city in the background is of course fake. It's actually not CGI, but it's done practically. We have a giant print of the city just sitting back there and it's backlit which really gives a nice effect and it was really the easier and better looking way for us to do this. To achieve this nice fast moving dolly in movement, we actually used a crane, which also helped us in the next shot. This is maybe my favorite shot in the entire commercial. We get to see the artist UI come to life as we're passing through the screen and through all of the albums. I really, really think this one is the shot that really gets you in and really brings everything to life and just brings you into the full experience. For the camera movement, we're again using the crane um, with a pretty wide angle lens. And we also have these tube lights just on the front of the camera to kind of motivate the light coming off from the PC monitors. I think this was also a key thing in getting this shot. As we move closer, you can see the light is also getting closer to her face and it just helps blend everything together and make everything look more realistic. As for the albums themselves, they were done in Cinema 4D and composited in After Effects. The blending of CGI and practical effects, I think is really what made this shot work so well. In this next shot, we are again taken into the character's world, um, this time quite literally. We're going into the headphones, um, through the character's brain almost, and then we're going out of her eyes and again into the art list platform on the PC monitors. This POV shot is again um, just perfectly showing the character's individual experience and basically what you would experience using Artlist. Then we have this awesome macro shot of the keyboard and mouse. Um, the point is just making things look bigger than life almost. We're taking something that is uh, pretty much ordinary use like keyboard, mouse, um, that kind of stuff. We're making it look epic. And all we're doing is basically enhancing and kind of taking like a macro look into the user experience. And this shot is of course done using the lower pro blends. Then we have the coolest shot in the commercial and it's pretty much the climax of all the other shots we've seen. They were all leading up to this point where our character is basically blown out of her chair, floating in space and all of the editing station, the PC monitor, the keyboard, everything is also lifted up and it's all just floating around the space in this dreamy um, nice world. And then we're brought on to even the next level of the user experience where we're basically in a completely new world. We're in this spacey galaxy magic world that is basically inside our character's head and we're just experiencing her world and her perspective of using the product, of using Artlist. And this is really a new level because we're really taking on to a completely dreamy, different um, imaginary world. We're fully immersed in the individual experience of the character at this point. And this dreamy, epic, 
colorful world is exactly what we want to convey with Artlist. It's exactly what we want users to feel when using our product. We even have the cute little dog in there because who doesn't love dogs? This entire sequence is shot with a phantom camera in slow motion to achieve this buttery, smooth looking slow-mo effect. And in the first shot where everything is floating, we actually use the ropes for both the character and also all of the um, PC monitor and the keyboard and all of that. And there are people just pulling the strings on action and everything is just going up. And then later on, we cleaned all of the ropes and cables um, in After Effects. And we were able to do that because we took a clean plate shot of the scene so we can later on remove things and just have more flexibility um, in that sense. And for the shot where our girl is floating already in space, um, it's a top-down shot with a blue screen on the ground. And we also shot it in slow motion just to get the right expression from the actor because being connected to cables and just floating mid-air is not the most comfortable thing. So the slow motion just helped kind of soften her face and the expression and just make everything feel nice and soft and beautiful. Now to actually make it look like the girl is actually in this galaxy world, this colorful um, galaxy, we had a few sky panels um, right next to each other going on and off one after the other to create this purple light effect um, going through her face and body and just making everything uh, blend in with the galaxy. And for the actual galaxy, it's made in Cinema 4D and in After Effects using various assets, um, photos, 3D models, and then it's all later uh, composited in After Effects. And then we just have this last shot where our girl is landing back into her editing station, ending her space voyage, and just coming full circle, um, basically ending her experience and ending the commercial. So you can see how every shot and basically the entire approach for this commercial uh, was to bring the whole artist experience to life and really bring us into the character's individual experience of using the product. And this can apply to whatever commercial you're doing or whatever project, basically. Um, these type of macro shots, of these really wide and close up shots, these fast moving in type of movements, um, all of that really makes us feel like we're right there in the action, experience whatever the character of our story is experiencing. And this is really done in like almost every big um, name brand commercial that is coming out these days. Everyone is doing these shots because they're just so effective in connecting you to the product and helping you feel um, what they want you to feel. And that's why you see all of these big brands doing these type of shots and taking this approach their work and their commercials. So I hope this video helped raise awareness um, in your mind when you're watching these commercials. Um, I hope they help you break them down and understand um, why everyone is doing these type of shots and maybe just help you for your next project or for your next commercial. To think about the experience and how you can convey that um, in a visual way. Think about what you want your viewers to feel when watching the video or when using the product and how you can use different techniques like the crane or a dolly or different lenses to really bring them into the scenes and make them feel what you want them to feel. But that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give this video a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And for today's giveaway, three of you guys could win three Artlist hats. All you have to do is tell us down in the comments what video would you like for us to make next. Here is the winner from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you. And until the next time, stay creative. Thank you.